Uh, yeah. You know, I, I love to support, you know, other podcasters, other content creators. Love to support them, right? But sometimes they really don't know what support is. Because you can like their stuff, you can share it, you can promote them. But a lot of times as individuals, right, the way that the brain is wired, they chase after people who don't show them any support. <clears throat> you know, like celebrities or just individuals that show them no support. It's crazy. I was just telling my brother about this. We was on the phone yesterday. We was talking and I was like, yo, I show people support. A lot of times I'm in the bushes. I give them the like. I give them the watch hours. But when I see, um, you know, non-supporters and trolls come into the chat, I kind of like fall back. I kind of like totally fall back. You won't see me there anymore, right? Because they focus more on the trolls and more on the people who don't support. I'd be like, wow. And you can't get mad at them, right? Because... These are the people that always wanted the attention. And once they started getting it from people who they looked at as, you know, beneath them or even above them. Right. These are the people that they go after. These are the people that they mention that they focus on. But I say it's always good to show your man or your homegirl support always, but you have to know your lane and you have to know where you stand. You have to stand up for yourself. So a lot of times when I see that, I kind of just like fall back. I still give them the watch hours and things because I know that this is what it's about, right? It's about the audience supporting. So I just support in different ways. But a lot of people, if you don't see me in a chat anymore, then you know why? I see the trolls come and the trolls act like they've been supporting the person for all of this time and they just come and depending how the person reacts, then that's how the troll or that's how the non-supporter kind of thrives. They like, okay, wow, you know, this person didn't say anything, so I'm just going to keep on, you know, and they might leave a emoji or a 100 sign or something. That's not really supporting. Um, so a lot of times these content creators will neglect the person who's been sharing their stuff, the person who's been liking it, the person who's really been dropping information, sharing their links and stuff like that. And you can't get mad at that person. You got to kind of get mad at yourself if you keep on doing it. Right. So sometimes you just got to know your own worth. You got to know that person's worth and you just got to like fall back sometimes it doesn't mean you stop supporting people. You don't start. You don't stop supporting individuals. You keep on supporting, but you just gotta know where you're putting your energy. You don't put your energy into a vessel that's not pouring it back to other people or even yourself. You understand what I mean? So, yeah, I was just yeah, I was talking to my man and we was having a, a conversation. And I was like, a lot of these uh, content creators, especially in the ghetto sector, right? You see that there's no loyalty, right? And, you know, I know people say there's no friends on YouTube. That's not totally true. People have created wonderful bonds on YouTube that's built outside of YouTube. They're on the phone every day, FaceTime, and that, that's real friends. But in the ghetto sector, you have these people who fake support each other. They support each other in their ignorance, in their darkness, and they will push you. They, they will push you, right? And then you put up a picture of something positive or you and your child, and it only gets 12 comments or two likes. But then if you put up something dragging somebody, it'll get 5,000 likes and uh, 200 comments. That's not real support, but to somebody who never had real support or who don't recognize it, then they look at that as real support. They're like, wow, you know, look, I got all of these followers. I got all of these supporters, but how are they supporting you? If something happened to you or your family today or tomorrow, it'd be crickets. You wouldn't hear from these people. So if you do have that type of clout, then... You know, I'm not telling you don't work it, but, you know, just realize reality and what's fake. You know, a lot of times um, you'll see like content creators with the small numbers and you think they're nothing. Right. Because I hear people say, how many subscribers he got? How many numbers he got? Oh, he's nobody. But this dude been doing it for a minute. It's just 
they're not into the circus. So when you're not into the circus, then, yeah, you might have low numbers. If you're not chasing the algorithm, then you're going to have that. And even if you got big numbers, that don't mean that you're a cloud chaser. I'm just saying, what are you doing with the uh, subscribers? What are you doing with the fans to support? Nothing. You, you, It's like the blind leading the blind. So, um, yeah, so when I'm in the chat and I see certain trolls come through, like their day ones, I'll be like, yo, it's time for me to go. You know, I'm going to still support this person. I'm still giving the likes, especially if they're kicking good content. I just keep myself outside of the chat because that's when, you know, people get jealous, man. People get jealous. And, you know, they know that they wasn't really supporting. So then when you start supporting, then now they want to fake support or they want to do other stuff. And I was just telling my other man, I said, if people are not sharing your stuff, they're not liking your stuff, they're not dropping comments, they're not your real supporter, right? You might say, oh, that's my man, that's my homegirl, and that's cool, but they're not really supporting you, man. They're just keeping you uh, in the loop, or they're just keeping you close by them, just sucking your energy, right? What did the sister say earlier? She said, um... Oh, man, I forgot what she said. Something like haters, right? They, they're all up in your uh, stories. They're in the bushes, but they're not pressing like. They're not leaving a comment. They're not even sharing your stuff. And you're re- and you're still supporting these people, so they're going to keep doing it. You have to cut these people off. Last Sunday, I seen a brother say, yo, this is um, you know, a positive day. Rec- we're going to reconcile. And his so-called man and homegirl came up there and trashed the show. SMD, all of this crazy stuff. And this person is laughing. I'm like, wow, didn't you just say you was going to have a good show, man? Didn't you just say this was going to be like, you was just bigging this person up. And then they came and started trashing the person. People do this on purpose. You have to stand up for yourself or you're going to just be a coward and people are going to walk all over you.